The short game is a wild phenomena that just gets us all deep to the soul. And there's one thing you should never, ever do when you're chipping. Oh, it'll save your life. You see, anytime we're chipping, pitching, that kind of thing, what happens is we like, just out of habit, comfortability, we like to get in here real close and squat down and sit back on our heels. What this does is it lowers our hands. And when our hands get low and our weight gets back, the heel of that club comes down like this. And then we get on our heels with that heel in the ground. And it causes us to one whip that club way inside and then we come through inside and we slam that heel down on the ground and shut that face. This is a comfortable position to be in, but our shots look like, like that. And we cannot live our lives doing that. It's the biggest, huge thing we should never, ever do. And really, the more lofted the club gets as you do this, kind of the worse it's gonna be. You're just, you're gonna start doing some of those too. And it's just so much in our like DNA to get in here, get close to the ball, choke down. We're doing a lot of right things. And then we're just, shutting down that face, digging the heel in the ground as we go. So that is not where we wanna to live. What's the answer? Well, it's actually, you gotta do the exact opposite of this. So instead of getting down in here, I want you to stand up taller, get a little bit closer to the ball, and then bend over forward. When you bend over forward, now you've taken that club from setting up like this to now you're setting up like this and that, that sole is flat on the ground. And now you can start utilizing this bounce angle properly through the earth. It's not like this anymore. Even more on the toe would be better than that heel. We wanna get tall, closer to the ball, and then bend over here. I mean, I'm almost in, as a drill, I kinda wanna be more on my toes here and then I could choke down here. And now that club's not gonna swing so far from the inside. It's much easier for me to take it even outside versus inside. You see that? And that just works through the earth so much better than before. As a drill, you wanna come way out here on your tippy toes and see what that feels like. right in this zone here versus this. That's no bueno, but there's more. And remember that on your toes feeling is a drill to do. You want to do an extreme exaggeration of the bad habit. So the bad habit is sinking into your heels and leaning back. The exact opposite is super tall, bent over on your toes. And that's a drill to start getting the feeling that you should have. You never wanna get back on your heels, okay? Ever. You wanna kinda of be centered, a lot taller, a little more bent over, but dramatically exaggerate it for the feeling drill part. And then you can work on the other piece of it and you're ready to rock and roll. So the next piece would be this. As you get taller, get forward, and those hands come up like this, okay? I want your feet to get more narrow, your weight to be on your left side primarily, your front side, okay? And then your hands, I don't want your hands going too far forward here. As you get your hands forward, that club will open up. And when that club opens up, then you're just naturally gonna re-engage that heel. And so we don't wanna do that. Your hands should just center, like one grip width forward of center, right there, and high. Nice high hands here, way forward. Now, as you strike and come through, this is where you can employ that chip and slide method that uh, I show you, uh, I'll link that video right up here for you. That's what you want. But, if you haven't seen that or a little refresher is as you hit, you want that club to continue to, to continue to work down 
like after after here so you're feeling like you're getting down here with your body is staying low and extended right into that area here so as you chip it's short extend out and low here so you wait everything's done early high hands forward you're gonna chip and extend down here you have to extend here and so the majority of your weight okay if you're thinking in terms of where's my weight the weight is right up here in your forearms and it's pulling you down here so as you swing it and you hold that weight is pulling you down like if I'm on a teeter-totter and I hit my shot my weights here pulls you down mm. and then you're not gonna have too many issues chipping these little guys because your weight's gonna be right up in this zone here while you rotate. One more thing to polish it off for you is this. And uh, it's gotta come after you get your setup correct, taller, forward. You get your weight correct through the ball, which is what we just went over. Then I want you to just work on this little piece. It should be a lot easier now. And uh, it'll polish it off, is what I'm saying. Okay final piece of the pie is this you got all your setup now you can aim a little left if you would like opening up everything that's fine and you're gonna turn basically your whole body so if I'm here to the flag now I'm there just a little bit open club face is always gonna point at the target now what I'm looking for here that I've got everything perfect I don't want to be taking it inside here when I take it inside I'm getting too bunched up and too constricted and any body motion here is really gonna mess up any chance I'd have at hitting a good shot. So, what I'm gonna practice is this. I really wanna take it a lot more outside here. Now, when you go outside, if you get any hand rotation going on, you can shank this ball. So, we don't want any opening up of that club face at all. We just want pushing it back, using our shoulders and our arms, one piece push back, right here and we want it more this way the more exaggerated you do it the better result you're gonna ultimately have so really exaggerate pushing it back if I went straight back straight through put a ball here straight back straight through is there okay I don't want it inside I don't even want it straight back right now I want it outside of straight back and it should look like this and you notice it comes off if you pinch it good nice and low a lot of spin and that is what we're looking for here club face at the target pushing it back out here and you could practice those high and low and that's all determined by how you strike the ball okay and you'll learn to figure those two differences out real quick as you go Those are your shots. That's how you put it all together. That's your uh, chipping what never to do lesson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Love you guys. If you want more awesome chipping techniques, click right over here. Till next time, see you soon.